I consider myself a bummer, I guess. You gotta try to hit the fun shots and go for it where it's needed. There's definitely a distinct advantage to be able to uh, pound the golf ball out there 300 plus. That advantage ranks Jason Kokrak amongst the best on tour in driving distance, averaging over 300 yards off the tee. It's always good to have a competitive edge, but I don't want to be you know, overly aggressive. So there's a time and place to use that length. Those words are a constant reminder of lessons Kokrak learned while growing up immersed in the game. My dad, grandfather, and great-grandfather were all single-digit handicappers. I started three, four years old. My dad started taking me out to the golf course. I'd be out up there on the putting green or I'd drive the golf cart with him. Going into middle school, I started winning tournaments in high school. I knew I was going to do some special things. After hitting a growth spurt in high school, Kokrak transformed into a towering figure, which was the catalyst for his ability to hit the long ball. I was 5'5", five, five, sophomore year, and then uh, I grew about eight inches in about 10 months to a year. I was six foot tall, graduating high school at, you know, 145 pounds, but I started hitting the ball a lot further. Now taller and longer off the tee, he began his college career at Xavier University in 2003, where he earned Atlantic 10 Conference Rookie of the Year honors. In college, I started working out five days a week and gained quite a bit of weight. Uh, I took the freshman 15 to a whole new level. I went from 145 pounds to about 220. I gained some length there and mostly strength. Being at Xavier, I got better and better every year. I think it was just um, tournament play got me ready to be a professional. Getting into professional golf was not easy by any means. I definitely was not straight out of college, straight onto the PGA Tour like some of these guys have done. After a few years on the mini tour circuit and having only conditional status on the web.com tour in 2011, Kokrak entered the week at the Albertsons Boise Open on the heels of two top 10 finishes. Jason Kokrak, it was just a matter of time. Winning out there was just one of those things that gave me the confidence to tell myself that I can win at the elite level. Caught lightning in a bottle that first tournament, and then a couple weeks later won again in Miami. Dominant performance. He has earned his second victory in four starts. I hit it great all week in the wind and the rain, so it was just one of those things where everything falls into place. That was my road up to the PGA Tour, and. Haven't looked back since. Jason Kokrak. Since becoming full-time in 2012, Kokrak's skill set now goes beyond smashing tee shots. Oh, how about that? Nice touch there. You gotta work at all facets of the game. You can't work just on driving the ball straight. Just, that's only gonna get you halfway to the hole. Putting is the great equalizer out there on tour, so that's one of the things I try to work on, just being more consistent and, you know, making the putts that you're supposed to make out there inside 10, 15 feet. Good stroke. Big man showing some good touch this week. His work around the greens is paying off as he is ranked second in total birdies with 199 and 23rd in scoring average. Those statistics combined with his three top 15s in the last three weeks have Kokrak eyeing his first win. It's time for me to move to that next level and win out there. I've proven myself here and there, but it's time to step up and you know, take it when uh, the next time arises when uh, I play well on Saturday and Sunday. I'm thankful every day that I can play such a uh, <laughs> non-contact sport for a living. <laughs>